This week we're at the San Clemente High School, and this is the San Clemente Knob Trail. All right, spot's just right over here, huh? Yep, there it is. Wow. Nice. A little wet. I've seen this spot in many videos. Oh yeah. Never seen it in person yet. Oh really, you haven't been here? Nope. Dang. There's the knobs on the rail. So this is definitely the rail everyone skates, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's bonded right here. I don't even think any of the other ones are skated. It's cause somebody took a grinder and grinded like the beginning of these knobs down. Oh, wow, they did. Yeah, so you can actually grind, do a lot of tricks through. That makes sense, cause I mean, some of the tricks I see like nose grind, I was like, how? You definitely feel it. You can see a big difference on the ones that aren't grinded down compared to the rail everyone skates. Yeah, fun fact, I actually came here and selfie lip slid this rail before I did it on El Toro like six years ago. Really, you came here first? Yeah, to, to warm up, and then we went to El Toro after that, and I somehow lip slid that first try. <laughs> wow! And then I got the selfie lip slide after. Wow. Lip slide El Toro, first try. Not many people can say that. Guess not. What's the first trick done? Uh, I believe it was Scott Kapalman. He board slid it and thrill of it all. They probably weren't uh, grinded down back then. They probably were more like this rail. Yeah. Sean Conover did lip slide shove. Huge strip of Bondo here. Yeah. Tom K did board slide to Feeble in his Cold War part. Grayson Fletcher did 50 50 front shove. You don't see too many street clips from him, so that's pretty cool. Dane Berman, 5 180 out. I away when I... Dane Walrid and like landed on the last three stairs. That, thought that was cool. Yeah, definitely. And then over here, Corey Glick did front side wall ride the whole thing, like. That is long to yeah. wall ride down this, what? And I feel like the angle did not do justice. It was like filmed over there, but from the side, you can really see the length. Yeah, for sure. He didn't even ollie into it either. He like rode into it. Yeah, he was able to get up real high on it. And this is a steep wall. That is very steep. It's like barely slanted. When I saw the footage of that, I pictured it being way more mellow in person, but it is not. I would not make it at all if I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> what stair would you land on? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, it's hard to tell because I'm regular footed, so I'd have to actually look at it over here. I feel like I'd land on probably the fourth stair. I want to see someone wall ride up into board slide and then somehow get out of it. Oh my. That'd be sick. I feel like that's possible. Yeah, right. That is possible. That could be someone's ender if they went all the way up board side and then rock and rolled in. <laughs> I think it's possible. It is. There's <laughs> probably like three people in the world that'd be willing to do it. Someone could probably drop in on this wall. Drop in on the wall would be sick. So yeah, Corey Glick did the front side wall ride, but he also nollie front boarded this, which to me is one of the craziest tricks to nollie into a rail this mellow and go backwards. You fuck up, you're just sacking backwards with knobs on the rail. Jeez. <laughs> it, like, it wouldn't be like the worst sack, like your feet touch the ground, but Leo Romero did backlip. Clint Walker did backlip, shove out. That one looked really good. James Hardy did nose grind. And he did nose blunt. I wonder if that was the same day. 
I think back then too, the knobs weren't as grinded down as people made it better over time. Mateo rail? He did back tail. He's been in a couple of our YouTube videos. Again, another crazy one, back tailing through that. What's up, man? How are you, man? So you're out in Australia, huh? Yep, I'm from a place called Tumbi Umbi. That is my hometown. Nice. Yeah, it's a good place. We're doing a video on the San Clemente high spots, and we were trying to figure out who to interview, because there's a lot of heavy tricks that went down, especially on the knob rail, but your trick stands out to us so much, because you're like the only one that went up it. You did the board slide. <laughs> How did you come up with, I'm gonna board slide up this rail? We are just like out in a session with a bunch of homies and uh, we ended up going to San Clemente. I hadn't been there before. I mean, I didn't even know what I was pulling up to. So we got there and like out the front, they have that the Taurus A-frame rail that I'm pretty sure like Niger and a couple others had hit. We went into the school and I, I noticed that it is that like knobbed infamous like rail. Yeah, I guess we just sort of went there just to sort of just check it out and see how it is. I had no trick in mind at all. We're actually there for like maybe a couple hours, but we're just like skating those benches that are like next to it. They're like these small little ledge benches. I guess like one thing sort of led to another. I was just like making a bit of a joke. I kind of like ran up to the spot and like popped in the board slide and then it hit like the first knob, I guess. I was like, oh, maybe I, maybe I could do this. I'm not sure. So. I was kind of like mucking around with it for a bit and all the homies on the session were kind of like laughing at me, not really like sure if like it was even possible. And then, yeah, one thing led to another and I started like just sprinting at this thing as fast as I could. It was at like the end of the day, so it was a battle. Like at the end of that, I ended up getting pretty tired. So we, we bailed and I, I thought, you know, I'd want to come back with fresh legs. We came back another time, but I think we got the boot pretty quick. We came back another time and then, yeah, I got, I guess I was pretty focused on really trying to get it done. I guess the hardest part of really trying to get to the top was getting the speed. There's like a building in the way. So I was starting like all cramped up right in the corner and just started like sprinting as fast as I could. And yeah, ended up just like getting pretty close to the top and battling it for so long and then Eventually, I was lucky enough to get off the top of it and roll away from it. That's insane. Your warm up on the first day was the benches. Did you warm up on the day you went up it? Did you ever board slide down the rail or just up? I've never gone down the rail, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane that you can say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hadn't tried to grind it. Or I hadn't tried to board slide it or anything. I, I was kind of scared of the knobs. I was like, I don't know how, like, this doesn't look very trusting. Like I didn't want to trust it like that. Yeah, they're kind of grinded down when you grind or slide down the rail, but going up, they're not really grinded at all. Did you ever get caught or were you worried about that? There was a couple where I like edged into it and caught on it, but it only happened like a couple times. So after I got over that, I just started trusting it and it was, it was just going over it fine. But yeah, they were like completely not grinded down at all going the other direction. Right. Dakota Servold, another one who's done a few tricks on this thing. Smith 180 out. He also did front board shove out. And front blunt shove out. Wow, how do you make it through those knobs on front blunt? I feel like he probably got in right after that knob. That makes sense. Did he shove before this? Probably. That would make way more sense. That's grinding down, but then look at this one. This piece sticks out a bit, so that's crazy. This is a weird one. Cater did board slide and then switched to hurricane, which is pretty crazy. Cause where do you switch? He probably did it right after that knob. After that knob, you think he did it? Yeah, I'd have to watch the footage again. We'll play it right now though. Hey, give it on. Not too many Figgy skated this rail a few times. He did back 5-0 shove out. Front feeble back 180 out. And then he also did a line starting from up there where he ended with kickflip front board to fakie, I think. Wow, 
Wow, he destroyed this rail. Julian Lewis front crooked it. That's crazy to trust these knobs on a front crook. AJ Zavala half cab board slid it. Dominic Walker front feebled it. Alex Wilms did switch barley grind. He also did. John Dixon kickflip board slide to fakie. And he came back and did switch flip board slide. I love when people do that when they compliment their tricks. John Dixon, is it like the switch flip board slide down it? Yeah, that's nuts. That's like the most sackable trick in the world. <laughs> he did sack on a couple too. So two people have done this trick. Trevor McClung, kickflip back 50. And Jamie Foy, kickflip back 50. Yeah, when Jamie did it, he got the crazy cross lock on it. Oh, did he? Like the opposite way? Yeah. Huge strip of Bondo here. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised the amount of tricks that have been done out of it, considering there's like this knob at the end. Yeah, that is right at the end and people like flip out of this, huh? Yeah. Niger did crook nollie heel out. That's crazy because this last knob is like right where you're gonna pop the nollie heel out. Jeez. This is a crazy one to me. Uh, Patrick Promen, big spin front board. Like doing anything into the, a rail this mellow is so sketchy because the sack factor is definitely happening if you mess up. Riley Hawk has skated this rail a couple times as well. He did feeble, two back Smith. And then he also did barley grind back to regular. Both of these are crazy. Kirby did switch 50-50 down this. But this one is probably the weirdest trick to go down. Kirby did tray flip hippie jump and landed on the stairs and then rode all the way down to the bottom. That is crazy. Yeah. Julian Heller. Did front big spin board slide? Oh yeah, Vindog did uh, caveman dark slide. <laughs> it was his welcome to the team ad in Thrasher. That's really cool. Adam did 50-50 kickflip. He told me he did it twice too, because uh, the first one he did was a little sketchy. What did you do on this? Uh, I've just board slid and lip slid it. And like I said earlier, I selfie lip slid it. Oh, uh, my wife rolled down the stairs and I board slid it next to her one time. We came on a little skate date here. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that's about it right here, but there are a few other spots at this school, so let's go check them out. Yeah. All right, before we continue with the video, I've been editing and I have come across or have been told that we forgot just a few tricks back when we were filming at the rail. Jared Huss, feeble, two back lip. <laughs> Brendan Villanueva did three shove lip slide. Ooh. 
and then Austin Zito did Feeble to 360 out. Which is crazy. And I am glad that I found that one because I mean, all of those tricks definitely deserve to be in this video. They are part of the spot's history and it just wouldn't be right not to include them. Anyways, back to the video. Yeah, so right here you got this three stair you can skate down and then skate these benches. So it looks like they're wooden, but this one is actually metal right here. The end pieces of all the benches are metal, which is crazy. It's like, were they trying to make it good for skating? <laughs> you can see the path is bonded for the benches. So yeah, you got this little three stair wall ride right here. That looks fun, actually. Yeah, that would be a good time. Yeah. So the six stair right here, it used to have a handrail on it and it got pretty destroyed back in the day. I wish they never cut it out. That'd be so fun. Rock to my tape up. I remember Colt Cannon did Switch 270 Lip, Circa, It's Time. They played a clip where they were like, new, new tricks or something, I can't remember exactly, but he landed in uh, Dark Slide on one of them. Oh, I feel like I remember that. Yeah. I mean, you can still skate the six stair and then go over the wall. Oh, nice. Anyone skate this ledge? I don't know who has, but it clearly has been skated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have a clip of Chad, like, trying to 50 it and he sacks it or something. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried to lip slide it and then he went after me and I think he was going too slow or maybe he got like freaked out because I didn't land mine, but he went for it. And I don't even know what happened. He like took his foot off on the rail and then like sacked it backwards and fell over. It's pretty Jeez. funny. I recognize this spot over here. Jamie dropped in on this wall to bike rack. He, he told me he broke his toe on it too. I think his pinky toe. Oh, no way. Yeah. Anybody up? Yep. Still got the clip though. That is sick. Dang. Dane kick flipped this street gap. What? Yeah. It's no way. Pretty big too. That is big. Hey, I think it got towed in on a dirt bike. That's a big street gap. Yeah, there's these eight stair rails right here, but they're kind of like high and steep, so they're not the best. I've skated it before though. I just like 50 50 and smithed it. It's just like kind of quick. All right, let's go find that rail Bo died on. Is that this way? So, yeah, my friend Bo skated this rail. And oh when God. he first went for it, he was going like way too slow. I don't even know what happened, but he like hit his face on the ground right here. He's good. After the slam, though, he front feebled it. I can't believe he did that after that slam. This is like a terrible rail, but he was hungry. Is this crazy rail? I think people have skated this like a board slide. Drop down. Imagine just fucking up getting in and then you just sack, sack from hard. this high up. Jeez. Yeah, this is where Figgy started that line. He did Ollie over the trash can. That trash can right there? Probably. No, I think it was gray. I think it was that one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he ollied over the trash can, heel flip on flat, straight to the kick flip front board fakey. Wow. I don't know, I mean, you've done board slide and lip slide. Do you think you could do that today in the rain? Probably. Well, let's see it. I'll think about it. Whoa, there's this, look at this. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this. There's a wall rail right here. This is unique. Looks like some people have skated that for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then it lands into the bank. This is the 600. Oh yeah, these are the roll-on curbs. I feel like I've seen a clip of someone doing like manual tricks to grind, roll-on grind. Yeah, there's a few slappy curbs out in the parking lot. You got this curved one right here, it looks pretty fun. I see something up here to skate. It curves a lot more than I thought it did. Yeah, that does, wow. Yeah, I've definitely seen this in a few videos. It's pretty tall. It's got a good, a decent size bump. 
but it's still tall for sure. Nigel did front board to fakie across and down. Kirby did gap to back 50. Really? Yeah. Also, David Lloyd did gap to board slide. That's so far and so high to gap to. They're treating this spot like a skate park, but it's definitely not. Dustin Brown did Smith across the top. But Taylor Smith did backsmith across the top. You also went up across and down that A-frame rail. What made you go back for that? Cause I assume you did that second. Yeah, that one's like, was a bit more recent. I guess I've seen Cole Wilson did the 50 over the top of it. Yeah, he was the other one to go up over and cross. That video part's like one of my all time favorites. And I, I guess after the board side up that rail that day, like I noticed that that spot was there. I was like, fuck, I mean, I board slid up the other rail, should try to board slide over this A-frame. I'd be stoked if I could just get the double board slide at the San Clemente spots. <laughs> Shut it down, double board slide up the rails. Yeah, so we went back there and, and started playing around with that board sliding, yeah, ended up getting it done, so it was pretty hard. Which one do you think was harder to do? The one up the stairs for sure, with the knobs. Yeah. yeah. That was like, tough. There might be more that have been done, but the only other one I remember is nose grind on the top. Wow, the rain is coming down. I planned on skating today and I'm not gonna let the rain stop me. All right, got a brand new board too. <laughs> 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 oh no, now I'm soaked. Just took one fall. Nice. All right, time for the main event. The shirt's weighing Cannon down, so he's taking it off. He got on! I don't think anyone's ever skated this rail in the rain until today. Oh my God. That board's like super soggy now. Yeah, for sure. Hey, you really went for that one. Oh my God. Dude, that's it. Nice. Now. It's not raining as hard, but but that's commitment. Rain or shine, board slide in the rain. I'm just glad I got to skate today. Yeah, I don't think most people would skate it in the rain for the video. He if killed it, was, it. If it wasn't wet, I'd probably do more tricks, but yeah, it's probably safe to uh, just end it with that. That was sick in the rain. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. If you guys like the spot history video series, then check out the new spot history merch over at DernBros.com. All right, that's our video at San Clemente High School. Let us know in the comments if we missed any tricks. And uh, we post new videos every Wednesday, so subscribe.